Hey folks, Tom B from Last We're Here Again with our second instructional video. Today we're going to show you how to sew a welt pocket. If you bring the camera down onto the table here, you'll see we have two pieces. This here is representing the outside of the garment. Um, ignore the fact that it's just a big rectangle. You probably wouldn't have a garment made just as one rectangle. Imagine that it's shaped like the side of a jacket or something. Oh, you've got the right idea. Okay, excellent. This here is going to be the welt pocket itself. It's pretty simple. Um, this is going to be a pocket and pocket welt and bag all in one. And basically what we're going to do is take this, flip this here over, stick that on there, sew a couple of seams, it's all going to make a lot of sense. Um, I will just explain, we have fusing on here, this has helped stabilize the cloth in the corners of the welt pocket when you sew it. You're going to have it cut down the middle and it'll fray out in the corners if you don't stabilize it with some uh, fusing first. And then that'll be to the inside of the garment, the fusing on the uh, shell again to help stabilize the whole seam when you cut through the whole piece. So now we're going to go ahead and show you how it's sewn. Okay, so here we are, we have the two pieces pinned together, right side to right side, like this. These are the lines, I've marked these on in a sharpie so you can see them really clearly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set, sew along these now. The things that you have to be really careful with, with a welt pocket, is that you want to start and finish exactly at the end of your lines, uh, with the back tack in those areas. These two lines have to end up exactly the same set, um, length, otherwise your whole pocket will be skewed. So we're going to get this set up here. Start with back tack, sew the whole length of that line, and then end with the back tack, needle up. And that's your first two stitches. Now next. We can remove our pins, and we're going to cut a slit in the middle. Some people like to mark out their cut lines ahead of time, I don't think that's strictly speaking necessary. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut down to about, I'm doing a three quarter inch wide welt pocket here, I'm going to stop about a half inch from the end, and then I'm going to cut it a diagonal right as close to where I sewed as possible, without actually snipping the stitching or getting too far in. Then we're going to cut in the opposite direction. Do the same on the other end. Now we're ready to press it. So the next stage is to take our welt and pocket bag and pull it through to the back side of the panel which you're sewing the pocket into. You can see I'm starting to get the idea of the shape here. This will be a double welt pocket, but I'll uh, explain how a single welt pocket is done. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Just depends on how you fold it from the back. So the first thing we're going to do is go along and try to press our pocket open here a little bit. Roll those seams, get them nice and neat, give them a little pull and twist in the corners to neaten those up. And then we'll fold this here down, press it. And then we take this, and now we fold it back up. We want it to cover exactly half of the pocket opening. What I really should have done, which I forget in every video, is to have a couple of center notches on the pocket welt here. Put one in there, and we'll put one in there, and now we can use those as a guide for how far we're gonna fold that pocket bag down. Sorry, pocket well. It's the top half of our welt. And then we're gonna fold the bottom half over. Press that here, and then fold this back down. Now, if you were doing a single welt, what you would do is rather than folding this top half here down, you would have just folded this piece here all the way up over that opening and put one press in there. But we're doing a double welt, so we're folding both sides. Bring that up to match that there at the center. Go ahead. Give that a good press. Now you can see we have something which is starting to look like a welt pocket. 
next thing we're going to do is tack our welt in place. There are a few different ways to do this, um, depending upon the style of uh, uh, the garment and how, how you want your finishing done. You could sew a seam all the way around the outside here at this point to pin everything down. Um, I'm just going to put a little back tack into these two edges of the seam here. If you had a bar tack or you're on your home machine, use your, your zigzag zag stitch. You can cover that whole area right there entirely with a zigzag stitch. Um, that's uh, how we have the factory do it on our Pinkerton vests. They put a bar tack in through there and there to secure it. It's a really, really solid way of sewing it. Uh, but I'm just going to put a little back stitch in here. This is like the most minimal form. So if you're doing a suit jacket or something like that, you want just a very little bit of stitching right tucked in there so you don't see it and everything else just remains clean on the outside. So we're going to do that now. So you can see here, a little line of stitching there, obviously you'd want to be color matching it if you're using this type of finishing. Otherwise, what the hell, I'll show you the other, another technique for finishing the whole thing off. You could go ahead and then edge stitch all the way around the outside of your welt. There's another way of fastening it all. So you could also finish it like that. Next up, we're going to finish the pocket bag. And what we're doing here is simply taking this bottom half, folding it up to meet the top of what we have here. I'm going to flip this over, so hit the front up. Make your pocket bag fold up to match. We're going to sew around the outside. Now I will note at this point, um, I'm using the same fabric for the pocket bag as the welt, so it's just one piece. Um, usually in suit jackets or anything like that, you're going to see that the pocket bag is made out of a, uh, a lining fabric um, rather than the same as the shell fabric. And so you just have the welt would be one piece cut here, and then you'd have this section of the pocket bag as a separate piece. So you'd have a seam in here, and then you'd have another facing sewn on here to match the outside of the jacket, um, which would be seamed in here. So you imagine separate fabric in the center, shell fabric top and bottom, and then that folds up so that you have a lighter fabric in there. So when you're pressing the, the clothes, you don't see the heavy, you don't see the other fabric sort of showing through when you press it. You don't have lines appearing if you, you press the things. You have a lighter pocket bag fabric in there. For this tutorial, we're doing it simply like this. Start with the back tag. Easy as that.